so cute, so cute. Crafted, so cute. And then I have a little baggie of my scraps. Hey guys, a few weeks ago I promised you a tour of my studio and today I'm going to give you that tour. Keep in mind, it's not perfect, it's never going to be perfect, so I might as well show you what it's like now and then maybe in a few months as I add some things or organize some new things, we can do it again. So, let's go! Done, cut. <laughs> let's start on this side of the room. This is an exciting piece for me. This is a long craft table. Look how long it is. <laughs> I think this is like eight feet or something. It's huge and I love it, love it, love it so much. Originally, this whole nook, I wanted to do like a giant dollhouse built in. I just wanted to build, I mean, I could get at least a dozen really good sized rooms in this nook, but that takes a lot of time and we were just moving into the house, so there's a whole lot of other things before the dollhouse. So this didn't go wasted. I did this table because I can craft on it, I can create doll rooms on it, so it really comes in handy. I use this space all the time. For lighting, because I have to have good lighting, and when I craft or when I create a doll room, I um, created some overhead lighting, so we just kind of rigged that on the top, and it's really nice because it's such a long table, I can go anywhere I want over this table. So if I'm crafting over here, but then I want to craft something different over here, it's fun because I can move the lighting around. So it comes in handy. Eventually I want to do the large dollhouse. It's a really fun idea. So for now I just have this large cool crafting table. Very heavy duty, I can sit on it. And then underneath here is where storage comes into play. Again, not everything is like 100% organized. You see I have some little lounge pillows that are hanging out because these are new and they're so cute, so cute. But I wanna show you what these different bins are. This one on the far right here, as you can see, these are towels, like beach towels, bath towels. It looks like their carpet in the doll room. And I've always loved bright colors, so I'm not just gonna do the traditional carpet colors, so I have some funky carpet colors for the dolls. Plus, they're dolls. Have fun with it. So I have all these bright colors. This one, I like this one too because if you look really close, it's not just your standard towel. It's got some pattern in there. I don't know what it's called, but it kind of looks 70s. And then I'll open up this bin. Bins like this come close. This is where I have all of the comforters and sheets for the beds. So normally they're all folded like this, like halfway or quarter, and that way you can easily flip through to see what kind of comforters, blankets, you want to put on the doll bed. There are a lot of different blankets to choose from, literally a lot. And then this is where I keep the lounge pillows also, so I can go ahead and stick those in there because that's where they go. Underneath, the blanket bin, this is where I keep all the pillows. Now, pillows, especially doll pillows, are really tiny. And if you put them all in a bin, it can be really hard to sort through. So I like using these jumbo bags because then you can pull out a bag, look at the front, look at the back, get an idea of what's in there without having to rummage through your bin. And if you don't find what you want, pull out another bag, do the same, front, back, and then do it again and again and again. I have so many of these bags in here, but it just makes it easier to find things when you're looking through it. Also for like the girls, if they're pulling something and they want it a certain color scheme, it's easy for them to look through the bags and find the color they're looking for. This is a bin of rugs, all the doll rugs in here. This is a bin of character bags. These two bins right here hold all of our doll mattresses. It's actually crazy how many doll mattresses we have. We have a lot because all the different beds are different sizes. So you need all the different mattresses because not only are they different sizes, but they also come in different colors, which is also really fun if you're planning like a themed room or a character room or you want a, a certain color scheme throughout the room. So two bins right there full of doll mattresses need them all. This shelf holds all the beds for the dolls. This area, this little nook, is 
like my crafting area. So this is another crafting table. This is from Ikea and I ha actually, I haven't even taken the cardboard top off yet. I mean, I've been crafting on it, but I haven't needed the white surface for a video. So I've just used this to craft on. You can see the paint here. And then a lot of times extra stuff just kind of piles up here until I have time to put it away. So you see there's extra stuff, some dolls hanging out, a bed I haven't put away. This, these shelves I have really good plans for. I want to organize it with all my crafting supplies. But for now, I'll show you what it does have. I love these containers. They are from Michaels and I organize crafting supplies in them. So this, for example, would be beads, all kind of beads in here, like literally tons of beads. I like that these are clear because I can once again flip it, look on the back. And it's nice because sometimes I might've forgotten, oh, I forgot I had those beads. So it's nice to kind of browse through what I have sometimes. And it gives me ideas for new crafts. Here's another example, puffy paint. I love puffy paint. And then I have one with like foam stickers, one for all my clay projects. So if we're doing like clay food for the dolls. And then all of these are scrapbook paper and cardstock paper. These can get pretty heavy to get down. So I'm not gonna get those down now. But most of this stuff is supposed to be crafting supplies. If you see our sweet dolls right here, it's just because they haven't been put away yet. I'll show you where they go later. Here I have more crafting supplies and I, I do like to keep it somewhat organized. For example, this drawer is only glitter. This drawer, and it's really heavy, that's why it's on the bottom is paint. And I usually have to push, so that's on my paint. And then this one is not heavy, which is why it's above the paint. I don't know why it's stuck though. This is all my felt and craft foam. So it's really fun looking through that. And then I have a little baggie of my scraps. So they don't go in the drawer. Only the full sheets go in the drawer. And then for example, glue, any type of glue sticks in there, hot glue, anything hot glue related, large glue sticks, small glue sticks goes in there, tape, anything tape, duct tape, scotch tape, washi tape, any tape is in here. Here I have all of my craft sticks. So anything wooden is in that drawer. And then I have a drawer of stickers. There's just a whole lot of things. And it comes in handy when you're crafting because you don't have to run out to the craft store all the time. And I like to save like little recycle items like straws and containers. And those go in miscellaneous drawers. Pretty much the rest of the studio are the dollhouse items. So this entire back wall and then clothes. So right here we have like bedroom items. So you have desks side tables, dressers, vanities, all that kind of stuff. And that's kind of organized in groups. And then here I have these plastic bins. I have the lids, but I don't keep the lids on them because I like to be able to slide out my plastic bin. If I need to reach in the back, it's easier. And I keep a lot of like things that are higher than the plastic bin in here, just so I fill up more space. So I can stack up chairs there tables, lots more chairs. And again, it's easy to pull this out, grab what I need, slide it back in. So everything is kind of clustered into groups. Down here, you'll see I have bathroom. I have like three different tubs, toilets, showers, all that's down there. Glitter girl stuff is down there as well. And then over here, I start to organize the smaller items. So I really want to show you that because I've gotten so many questions on how I organize all the tiny things for the dolls. Here are some individual bins, smaller bins. For example, this one is full of books. There's no rhyme or reason. They're just kind of in here so you can see at least the spine to see what kind of book it is and you can pull it if you want it in your room or in your dollhouse or in your doll's book bag and then you can put it away when you are done. This is school supplies and it's kind of organized in the bin with baggies. This one is sports items. Let's see, I'll just turn it upside down so you can kind of see all the different sports items in there. Skateboard, soccer ball, hoverboard that I made years ago. This one right here is science. So science lab, anything science related is in here. And again, not everything is just thrown in here because it is so tiny. I am a huge fan of just kind of separating it into Ziploc bags so you can pull the tiny pieces without losing them. 
So anything science related is in here. Science lab. I have another bin for music. So all the musical instruments and speakers and things like that. Now I want to show you these drawers that I pull out. These two drawers here is where we keep bags. Bags, purses, luggage, anything kind of bag related. Grocery bags. It's all in here. Gym bags. So you see all the luggage. Luggage, luggage, luggage. All of that. Lunch boxes. And then more bags in here. Backpacks, makeup bags that we've crafted. So cute. All of that is right in here. So it's easy. You want a purse? Come to this drawer. Find a purse that you like. Boom. Easy. This drawer, as you can see, it's kind of organized inside the drawer in little sections. So if you pull out this baggie, you'll see that it is alarm clocks and tissue boxes and anything clock related. So you have the wall clocks. This bag has all of your tablets and laptops. And then a tool bag, a radio bag, your boom box bag, a bag with just doll cameras, and then probably the most popular is the bag with the phones, iPods, and earbuds, like that. So if your doll needs a phone, come in here, grab which one you like, and when you're done, you can put it away. And then the drawer above it, organize the same way in the, in the bag. So you have your headphones, lots of different colors and styles to choose from. You have your sleep masks because you know, dolls have different personalities, so they might want a panda or they might want the unicorn. And then here we have your travel pillows. What else do we have in here? And glasses. I had these separated to where one was sunglasses and one was eyeglasses. I think they got mixed up. So sometimes things like that happen and you just have to go in and organize them again. All of this down here is like food and kitchen related. This bag is basically a bag that I've used, but I haven't had time to put away yet. So it just kind of goes into this bag until I can put it away because I like it to go back where it goes. If you open up a drawer, you'll kind of get an idea of what goes where. This is fruits and vegetables. So if you pull out a bag, you'll see, oh, bananas and pears. And the same for all the drawers. If you were to pull this out, this is sweets. And the sweets are even organized accordingly. These are like donuts, muffins, baked goods, and then you'll have another one that's ice cream, popsicles, another one that's cookies, things like that. And over here, kitchen items, KitchenAid. I even have like the dishes organized separately. So here are your water bottles, your hydro flasks, toasters. Everything is just organized so you can find it easily to pull it when you need to use it, but also put it away quicker so it doesn't get lost in all your stuff. On this shelf, we have pet items. You have your dog houses. This entire bin is pet accessories. This one is just all your pets. This, you have your clinic. So a lot of animal stuff related. I like to keep it in the same area. Here you have your science lab or school room. And then another corner room down here. When we use these items, we do pull them, use them, play with them. If friends come over, we pull them out. That way they have space and room to play with them and create. And then they go back here when they're done. That way they're not out in the main living space. This is one way that I organize clothes. Made this out of PVC pipes. These little hangers you can get on Amazon. I like to hang up anything that can be hung up. I have a couple of these. I used to do it by color, but it's kind of gotten scrambled, so. At least you see the short sleeves, the dresses, holiday dresses, things like that, jackets. And then when you need an outfit, you can come up here, find it, use it. And then when you're done, you change your doll, you put it back. Now to the doll shoes. Don't laugh. I want to change up the way I do this because they're really bulging out of this box, but this is what we have so far. Ta-da! All the shoes. Again, they are separated in the plastic baggies. Um, and they're labeled, so these are like glitter, patent leather, dressy flats. I like it because you can look around the bag and see what kind of shoes are in there without digging through all the shoes. I like to have all the shoes paired up together, like out, so, so it's easier to see and find, but that also takes up a lot of space. So I haven't figured out the best way to do that yet. So this for now is easy to find the sandals that you're looking for, the rain boots, <laughs> the bowling shoes, or the Mary Janes the saddle shoes, 
tennis shoes, high tops. I mean, really, the dolls have a lot of shoes. So they're never gonna go without shoes on their feet. But this is how I organize all the shoes for now. At least they don't get lost and you can find whatever you're looking for. And these bins right here hold the last of the clothing. Pretty much anything that can't be hung up. This is the pajama drawer. Again, it's bulging. I think I need to split it into a second drawer. This would be undies and swimsuits. Over here we have leggings and pants. It's usually pretty stacked. It's like stacked up so you can just kind of filter through it. I just made a mess of it. Shorts and then skirts. So again, you can kind of go through and find what skirt you're looking for. This is really fun, especially for kids, because they can look through, they're reminded of all the things they have, and they can put together their own outfit. I'm a huge fan of the mix and match, so I really like to separate them just by type. So skirts and shorts and leggings, so that's really fun. And then this right here, we have like hats and shades and beanies. That's what that drawer is. And that is the last of the clothing items. And that is pretty much it for the tour of the studio. I think you saw all the dollhouse items, all the crafting items. You pretty much have a feel for how I organize everything. I didn't show you every bin, but I mean, that would take forever. And if you have less, you might need to organize it slightly differently. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. If you want another video like it, maybe we'll go to the AG store or Target and go doll hunting. Leave a comment below and tell me what you want to see. Bye.